Welcome back to The Everyday Stoic. I'm William Mulligan and today I'll be sharing with you stoic quotes to help you stay focused and help you develop focus just like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus and Seneca. Some of the quotes you'll be hearing are written by myself, some by um, ancient figures such as Marcus Aurelius. Today's video is sponsored by TheEverydayStoic.com where you can support what I'm doing and get the Amor Fati t-shirt, which is a reminder to love your own fate. I hope you enjoy. It is not daily increase, but daily decrease. Hack away the unessential. The closer to the source, the less wastage there is. When you transform your mind, everything you experience is transformed. The path of least resistance is a terrible teacher. Question yourself and your actions. Do you really wake up every morning and go to sleep every night, excited at the idea of scrolling through Twitter? What then is it that does bring you fulfillment? Learning, helping others, teaching or anything else? Do these leave you feeling good? Why then waste your time scrolling through pages of models who digitally manipulate themselves? This does no good for you. It is easy to blame them. It is hard to confront me. The easy path is the road to ruin. The hard path is the way of growth. Be present above all else. We must be willing to roll the dice and lose. Prepare at the end of the day for none of it to work. Focus on the moment not on the monsters that may or may not be up ahead. When you think you're done, you're only at 40% of your body's capability. How long are you going to wait before you demand the best for yourself? Life isn't always about doing the things we like to do. It's about doing the things we have to do. Regardless of how you spend your time, it will pass. If the time will pass regardless of the things you give your energy to, isn't it better that you give your energy to the positive, the good, 
the things that help better your life and the people around you. Spend your time building instead of destroying. Be disentangled from all perceptions. They are not you. Don't sabotage the long term for temporary comfort and pleasure. Don't burn down the hut for heat. Tomorrow you'll be colder and without a hut. Growth and comfort do not coexist. True Stoics don't care about the outcome, they just care to give their best shot, right here, right now. The art of being wise is the art of knowing what to overlook. This is the mark of perfection of character, to spend each day as if it were your last, without frenzy, laziness or any pretending. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. When you feel like procrastinating or acting on negative impulses, the pain of discipline is much less than the pain of regret. The rewards of disciplines are much more than that of greed. The pleasure from acting out these impulses is fleeting and leads to feelings of guilt. You may feel like procrastinating, but remember that you won't get this time back. Use your time for self-improvement, reflection, education, and or helping others. I hope you enjoyed today's video on focus. I tried to get a collection of quotes around the theme of focus and I hopefully it will help some of you that are working or studying or some of you that struggle to stay focused on daily tasks. Um, I know these quotes have certainly helped me and I wrote some of them myself for people on Instagram and I've been told that it helped them. So thank you for watching. Feel free to write down your favourite quote and if you want to support what I'm doing, please consider becoming a YouTube member or subscribing or heading over to my Instagram at theeverydaystoke.com where I post affirmations, quotes, guides, lessons, um, basically everything to do with Stoicism and I try to, I'm trying to build a community of like-minded Stoics or people who are interested in Stoicism. And I'm even trying to reach people that have no interest in philosophy or Stoicism at all because I believe they're the people um, that we can help the most through the philosophy of Stoicism and the 
practical philosophy of Stoicism. So thank you for watching. Just like my last video, um, for anyone that made it this far, I'm just going to read a passage from the Meditations. Um, this is an affirmation Marcus Aurelius wrote. So I'm actually going to do a full video on this. I've got a lot of videos already filmed that I'm trying to edit and get out for you guys. But I've also got many planned, which I'm excited to share. And this video will be about this affirmation that Marcus Aurelius wrote. So, erase the impressions on your mind by constantly saying to yourself, it is in my power now to keep this soul of mine free from vice or passion or any other disturbance at all. But seeing all things for what they are, I can treat them on their merits. Remember this power which nature gives you. So that actually revolves around the theme of focus. So if you made it this far and you listened to me read that, hopefully you enjoyed the whole video and just comment on more fatty, which is the love of one's fate. And that is the t-shirt I'm wearing, uh, more fatty. Um, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate the comments on the previous ones. Um, many of you made it to the end and commented Memento Mori. So I'm quite amazed that people stick around right to the end. Um, thank you for watching.